friends and subscribers out on the internet, this is Jeff here from CarBuyingTips.com. We are here live at the Kennedy Space Center on this beautiful day here in early October 2019. The public unveiling of the 2020 Corvette convertible. And you can see a large crowd is already gathering here at the Kennedy Space Center visitor complex here. And the crowd is eagerly anticipating the unveiling of these cars. Now you can see there's three of them here under yeah. under black. The astronauts have a rich history and appreciation for the Corvette since the beginning of America's crew space program. Look in the steep wind here, the Corvette's trying to unveil itself. Waiting for that reminded me of waiting to fly on the very first flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavour back in 1992. Kept waiting and waiting and finally got to go on it. So it was an awesome flight and this is going to be an awesome flight in this car. But like many other astronauts, we are, I am a Corvette enthusiast, Corvette owner, Corvette fan. Between my wife Kim and I, we are on our ninth Corvette right now. Wow. It's an official thank you. We're what surprise that those icons throw America's iconic space car. And as you heard, Chevy did have this lease program for the early astronauts. Um, and I can tell you that many of the astronauts still continue to drive Corvettes for years afterwards. I've dreamed of working on Corvettes since I was a kid. I'm excited to be a part of a talented team that is launching this game changer. The first Retractable hardtop, mid-engine, Corvette Stingray Convert. The two-panel retractable hardtop operates in 16 seconds. It speeds up to 30 miles per hour at the touch of a button. The Stingray offers the same impressive ability to store two sets of golf clubs even when the top is down. The convertible also carries a coupe front storage compartment, which can fit an airline spec carry-on and a laptop bag. The convertible with the top up matches its outstanding aerodynamic performance, providing 400 pounds of downforce at 180 miles per hour when equipped with the Z51 package. Like all Corvettes, aerospace and jet aircraft are the inspiration for the designers and then the cells and no exception. They visually echo the passenger seating environment and give admirers a glimpse of the interior selection. First quarter of next year, we'll start building convertibles alongside the coupe, and it'll continue the value proposition that we're famous for. Retracting hard top and after some other standard equipment requires a premium of $7,500, so it's going to start at $67,495. In the world of retracting hard tops, that's a program engineering engine. Okay, so now they're doing a group shot here with some of the astronauts in front of these Corvettes. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here with us today in a very special place. Yeah, to be a part of the reveal of an awesome car. You heard in the, in the sizzle reel me talk about my dream job. The last time I was standing between an astronaut and a race car driver, uh, but I still contend that this is my dream job. Uh, my dad bought a Corvette when I was a kid. I've been hooked since then. Uh, open air driving has been a hallmark since the beginning. The, the first generation Corvette debuted in 1953 as a convertible only. Keeping that tradition, we engineered the all-new mid-engine Corvette to be a convertible from the start. We developed the foundation, the stiff, lightweight, aluminum and composite body structure with a large central tunnel, a managed portion and bending loads in the coupe when the roof panel was out, and of course, with the top down on the same rate convertible. 
You heard some of the amazing sacks. Two panel retractable hard top operates in just 16 seconds. It speeds up to 30 miles per hour, which is perfect if you have to dodge one of the top. Dude, they didn't, they didn't lift it up. Bummer. You know, we're in the line. <laughs> I don't know. This is a square, and it's probably four and a half to five feet long. Well, it's 55 inches across. Yeah. Okay, so this here is the racing version of the 2020 vet right here. Here's the rear end of the racing model here.
Hopefully they've signed it all over the engine block there. <laughs> Looking here at Neil Armstrong's 1967 his Chevrolet Corvette Coupe. And then here's Neil Armstrong's Corvette here. So back in the day, the astronauts were allowed to lease these Corvettes for a dollar. You can believe that. That's a deal of the century there. Better than any deal we could get you. And there's the Saturn V rocket in the background there. The same rocket that Neil Armstrong flew on. So you got two of his high-speed vehicles here in the same area. This is the very Saturn V rocket type that Neil Armstrong rode on. So they had also had some other vintage Corvettes on display here as well. This is a gorgeous vet right here. So it was an incredible day of seeing some old Corvettes that you could sort of get near, along with some newer Corvettes that you couldn't get anywhere near them. Some people probably walked by and didn't even know there was three Corvettes sitting there because of the crowds.